Oh, welcome back there, folks. Folks, welcome back. This is your host, Brody. Now, Ed, let me tell you something. Back in the day, you know, we used to get 13 shiggles for a bag of quiggles. And, you know, back in those times, there wasn't much to do about getting any pennies for our fidgets. My boy, am I tired. I think I'm just going to lay down and go to bed. Whoa, whoa. Hey, folks, welcome back. Wake up. It's your host Brody here with another weekend cartoons with Brody. Thanks a lot for tuning in. We're gonna need Brody's tool. Remember folks, be cool, stay in school. Always bring Brody's tool when you get ready to grip it. And rip it. Know what I mean? Ugh. Let's get into this here mail opening video. Just don't want to see that. Okay. We're good. We got the stuff. The single styrofoam chip. Yes, it is. Oh, been saving these up. I really have. Got the pull tabs. Oh, we're not going to flip it quite over. We're not going to do it. Pull tabs. The sticky tape. Not the extra sticky tape. Just the sticky tape. You know, I think we've seen this frog lizard before. Frog lizard token. That's got to be like a place set in half for the frog lizard token. Open she up. Open she up ski. The single striophone chip. My other deck is a squirrel. Hey, look, a squirrel. Brody's got squirrels in the attic. How is the weekend for all of you folks shaping up? I really hope you are having a good one. Over. One, two, three. Oh, I'm back over this way. Get the frog lizard token. What's that frog lizard? Been up to. Okay. The 3-3. Three, 3-3. Three. Three, three. Three, three frog lizard token. Let's go. Ah, oh, face up. Which way are we going to go? Face up. What's in the... Is this cards? It's got to be cards off the bottom 10. It's got to be cards off the bottom 10. It is. Man, it takes a while to get stuff in the mail. It really does. Hakeem, the lore weaver, the 2-4. Ah, uh, this guy. Hakeem, how are you doing? Hakeem's going to join us for Brothers War Draft. So that's pretty great. Flying 2-4. He's got flying too. Legend. I like it. Put target creature enchantment card from your graveyard on Hakeem. Treat the enchantments though it was just played. Use this ability only during your upkeep and only if there are no other enchantments on Hakeem. Two blue and tap it. Destroy all enchantments on Hakeem. Wow. Okay, let's go. Hakeem. Hakeem, 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 excuse me, Hakeem, Hakeem, we, uh, we really like this card, Hakeem's come to party, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, all right, and a copy of Earthlink, how about that Earthlink, everybody, enchantment card from Ice Age, it says, a green, a red, a black, and three. During your upkeep, pay two colorless mana or bury Earthlink. 
Whenever a creature is put into the graveyard from play, that creature's controller sacrifices a land. Ignore this effect if that player controls no lands. Holy, that's a pretty nasty card. Oh, all right. One, two, three of those. River Merfolk? Finally, some flavor text in the package here today. The 2 1 Mountain Walk, it's legal in old school. It is. Dwelling in icy mountain streams near their goblin and orcish foes, the river merfolk were known for their stoicism. Serpadian Empires, Volume 5. The 2 1 can get across the mountains with Mountain Walk until end of turn for one blue. 2 1 for the merfolk, river merfolk. More stuff off the bottom 10. Here we go. Let's go. Two copies of the River Mower Folk. Prismatic Lace. This was the card from Visions. How about it? Just name that lace. Features on its own. A lot of There was a lot of speculation, a lot of talk about how good this card was going to be when we saw it. Prismatic Lace because it was like, why did, why none of the laces were like this card. It, if any of the laces, they weren't very good. But if you're going to play any lace, it's like, why wouldn't you play this one? Target permanent becomes the color or colors of your choice. Cost to tap, maintain, and use an ability of the permanent remains unchanged. So arguably, without a doubt, without a shadow of a doubt, a smidgen of a doubt, beyond a grain of a thousandth of a cent, a thousandth of a millionth of a one hundredth of a tens of thousandths, the size of a grain of sand of doubt, beyond that. The best of the laces. Prismatic lace. Let's go. At instant speed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have double play set. The lace, the lace, the lace. Prismatic lace. Thanks for joining us today, folks. A little bit of weekend cartoons. Spoils of war. The art on this card is just incredible. I really like it. I do. Wow. Check out this card. Spoils of War. Turn the high beams on, Brody. Ice Age card, black and X. Put X plus one plus one counters on any number of target creatures distributed any way you choose, where X is equal to the number of creatures or artifacts and artifacts in target opponent's graveyard. This is the fun part. Ib Halfhard, Goblin Tactician. So this is the... OG counter distribution card. It does a lot of work. Counters are fantastic. And we know how much we love this card. A <laughs> sphere. Okay, the sphere. Just a big old ball of sphere. This one's way. This one's from way down on the but it was it was on the bottom. It was right down to the bottom end of the reserve list where no one even wanted to play this card but we picked up a couple copies of the sphere for one blue and one the zero one flying phantasm says at the beginning of your upkeep put a plus one plus one counter on phantasmal sphere during your upkeep pay one colorless mana for each of these plus one plus one counters or bury Phantasmal Spear. If Phantasmal Spear leaves play, put an orb counter token into play under target opponent's control. Treat this token as a star star blue creature with flying where star is equal to the number of plus one plus one counters on Phantasmal Spear. A whole ton of flavor text on this card. I suppose you could use it in a in a commander politics game where you know you can Decide where the zero one phantasm orb is going from alliances. This card's at the it's it's it actually kind of smells funky. This funky orb. Uh one, two, three, four copies of the orb, the prismatic lace. Oh, another couple copies. This is all uh cards right off the bottom of the reserve list. So what except save one? What's this? Do we know? Let's do it. Thrall Champion. Chaos Thrall. Thrall Champion. Spin Chaos Thrall onto the battlefield from a height of at least one foot. 
It must touch cards from the Brody's bottom 10 reserve list cards that no one cares about. If you do, take your shoe and beat them till they're black and blue. This thrall may not be the target of like, thumbs up, subscribe, notification bells, or Patreon spots. Thanks a lot for watching. You folks have a fantastic weekend, and we'll talk to you all again real soon.